Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. And it is gloriously autumn. Finally, it has finally started to cool off and we've got a breeze. It's dry. It's dry, y'all. It's dry. I'm no longer having flashbacks to my Florida high school experience. Thank goodness for that. Um, and with the cooler weather, the peanuts have started to yellow around the edges. I'm sure you've been following along with the saga of the peanut bucket and all of her beautiful volunteers. We've seen quite a season with this peanut bucket, with the peanuts in general. I started them in the greenhouse back in, I want to say March. And then we got them installed in the giant silver bucket, which had lived another, which had lived a, a totally separate life two or three times before this and has found its forever home beside the house. Um, so I planted the peanuts in there and then the volunteers came in. So many volunteers. I think we had two or three tomatoes in there, a tomatillo, some sunflowers. Uh, we had some giant zucchinis in there <laughs> that we fried up and ate. That turns out <laughs> They're not so, they're not so much zucchinis, they're pumpkinis. I have the biggest one still sitting in my windowsill and I was like, we just never got around to eating it. But as it turns out, it is now turning orange in my windowsill. So clearly this um, hybridized. So what's your guess? What do you think this is? Heavy. Pumpkini. This one's a little smaller. I think we're gonna eat this one before it starts to turn orange. Anyway, it was delicious when we fried it. <laughs> But I think the uh, the largest one of them we're gonna probably turn into a jack-o'-lantern or something. <laughs> but most of it's done now, so it's time to pull the peanuts. And I am really looking forward to this. Bill and I pulled one of the plants up about two weeks ago, and we were a little early on it. I'm told that you really have to wait for the leaves to just start to turn yellow before you see anything in there. Um, but we did get a handful of peanuts and then left it alone for a few weeks and I think now is the time. So I'm going to get in there and gently tear some stuff up. We've still got some tomatillos coming in and I don't want to ruin their days. So let's see what's going on in the peanut bucket. Okay, so here's where we're at at this point. Um, you can see... We've still got some tomatoes coming in. Um, the sunflower that was there is spent. I pulled the zucchini a couple of weeks ago and the tomatillo is nearing the ground. There are quite a few lanterns on the tomatillo plant. So we're gonna wait for those to ripen up. And I'm going to try and be real careful when I dig around in here and see how little I can disrupt this guy. Okay, so we know that they're ready because a lot of them have some yellow on them, if not a little bit of brown. This plant up front is one that Bill and I pulled out and put back in. So let's see what's happening here. And it's, there are just a few 
I wasn't expecting much out of this guy. Just a few, they're not fully formed. Um, probably because we pulled them out and then we put them back in. Let's see what else is going on in here. A few. Got a few. This, on the other hand, this is uh, Oriental Bittersweet, and we have been fighting this stuff all over the property. I have been working around this one because it looks like it's all tangled up in the tomato. So I'm gonna try and be extra careful. One's all tangled up too. See this one, this one, it looks like it was sharing so much nutrition with the tomatillo that it only produced a very little bit. Well, here's our basket with our peanut harvest in them. Um, and it's really, it's, it's encouraging. You know, we are nowhere near the South. Um, I always think of peanuts in the same mind frame as I think of Georgia. Uh, that hot weather, Jimmy Carter, <laughs> um, but we didn't, we didn't do terribly, you know, for New England. This is going to dry attached to the plant, um, out of direct sunlight, in good ventilation. So I'm going to hang them on the porch, I think. They're going to stay there for a week to two weeks. We want to make sure that they stay dry. Everything that I've seen or read about harvesting and curing peanuts seems to be centered around threat of mold because these are, these are really rather wet. Um, they're, I don't know if you can see it. They're, they're, they're pretty wet. Um, you can feel it in the shell. So that's what we're going to do. Hey, Joker. Come here, buddy. 
Hello. Joker has come to give me a hand with the peanut harvest today. Sweet boy. His mom's out of town, so we're looking after him for the moment. You good boy. You good boy. Go ahead. Our little volunteer peanut is not quite ready to harvest yet. I'm keeping an eye on her. Don't make sense though. So I've got us all hung up. Um, they're over here. I may, I think what I'm gonna do is trim the backs up just a little bit before I hang this up so that there's more, there's more space for airflow. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, and I've changed plans for where I'm gonna hang this up. I was gonna hang it up on the porch and then as I was popping the plants in there, I had a realization that we feed squirrels here and we feed them peanuts. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down to the basement, hang it up there and put a fan on for ventilation and we'll call it a day. It's definitely warm down there. It's a little warmer than upstairs where we've got some windows open and with the ventilation, I think we'll be good. So I'm gonna let that go for a couple weeks down there and maybe we'll be able to feed the squirrels our peanuts once they're cured and we've eaten what we want to eat. <laughs> We're good sharers, um, but I'm not that eager to share them just yet. Um, I'd like to get some. <laughs> so thank you so much for hanging out today with me and my peanuts. I will catch you up soon. Take care.